in one of my previous videos, I talked about how glycine and NAC are part of my top three longevity supplements. And in some recent animal studies, they have shown how glycine and NAC supplementation can extend lifespan by up to 24%. So in this video, we're going to take a look at glycine and NAC together and why you should combine them together. Do it! I guess a good place to start with is a human clinical trial uh, published January 2023, where they show that supplementing glycine and NAC or Glynac, as it's called in uh, older adults, improves glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, physical function, and the hallmarks of aging. What they found was that Glynac supplementation in older adults for 16 weeks was safe and uh, well tolerated. By combining the benefits of glycine, NAC, and glutathione, Glynac is an effective nutritional supplement that improves and reverses multiple age-associated abnormalities to promote healthy aging in humans. And this graphical abstract will show you some of the benefits and the effects of Glynac or glycine and NAC. And the main benefit comes down to boosting glutathione, which is your body's... It's considered like the master antioxidant. It's certainly one of the main ones and the most important ones, uh, specifically through the liver. And uh, glutathione is something that is very important for slowing down aging and improving many other health uh, outcomes. And Glynac through glutathione synthesis pretty much helps with inflammation and oxidative stress. It improves cellular senescence, mitophagy, and uh, just, you know, all of the hallmarks of aging in a lot of ways are connected to lack of glutathione and increased inflammation and oxidative stress, which then, if you fix that or correct that, or just improve the glutathione levels, then you will see, you know, an improvement in the hallmarks of aging as well as, you know, functional outcomes, such as muscle strength, walking speed, uh, waist circumference, uh, blood pressure, and, you know, other uh, biomarkers. How much glycine and NAC did they take? Well, they took uh, about uh, 100 milligrams per kilogram per day, each of glycine and NAC. And the placebo, the control group, was alanine, 200 milligrams per kilogram per day. What they found was that only Glynac supplementation in older adults resulted in significantly improved a glutathione concentrations by 121% after two weeks and by 164% after 16 weeks to levels not different from younger adults. And in the beginning, the older adults had 66% lower muscle glutathione concentrations than the younger adults. So yeah, like, you know, with age, you do see this decrease in glutathione, which then is part of the reason why you accelerate in the hallmarks of aging as well. Of course, there are many other reasons for that, why that happens. But uh, obviously, yeah, like the lack of glutathione and just increased inflammation and uh, increased oxidative stress is something that kind of accelerates it. If you are an individual with a worse lifestyle, you have more comorbidities, you have, let's say, metabolic syndrome or diabetes or poor nutrient intake or your lack of exercise, then your glutathione levels are going to be lower and you're more susceptible to uh, the increased oxidative stress and inflammation. But this is not the first study. In 2021, there was a review on uh, the effects of Glynac supplementation on both like animal and mice, mouse studies, as well as human clinical trials. And the review did find that uh, the Glynac supplementation generally does improve, you know, things like glutathione deficiency, the hallmarks of aging, and, uh, you know, functional outcomes. It is particularly exciting that Glynac supplementation appears to reverse multiple aging hallmarks. And if confirmed in a randomized clinical trial, it could introduce a transformative paradigm shift in aging and uh, geriatrics. So, yeah, this was 2021, and this, uh, the 2023 uh, clinical trial that we just uh, talked about kind of supports at least uh, partly the findings of this uh, review as well that uh, Glynac supplementation can affect the hallmarks of aging. In this study, they only covered seven hallmarks of aging, so it doesn't uh, cover all of the hallmarks of aging, but you don't need to obviously you know, hit all the hallmarks of aging with just one supplement. It's pretty impossible to kind of have this miracle supplement that just improves everything unless it's exercise, which uh, pretty much does so. But uh, yeah, like Glynac supplementation at least improves uh, many of the hallmarks of aging that we know are associated with accelerated aging. Another 2021 study found that the Glynac supplementation in older adults improves glutathione deficiency, oxidative stress, mitochondrial dysfunction, inflammation, insulin resistance, endothelial dysfunction, uh, genotoxicity, muscle strength, and cognition. So this is also like a clinical trial, and uh, they did find that for 24 weeks, the uh, in older adults, Glynac supplementation was well tolerated and safe, and, and it did lower oxidative stress and uh, corrected the glutathione deficiency. And a 2020 study found that Glynac supplementation in patients uh, with HIV who are experiencing accelerated aging because of their uh, disease, patients with HIV had significant effects in measured outcomes 
which improved with Glynac supplementation. However, benefits receded after stopping Glynac. And in type 2 diabetics, uh, another human study, they do find that the Glynac supplementation imp improves impaired mitochondrial fuel oxidation and uh, lowers insulin resistance. They found that the Glynac supplementation for 14 days significantly improved fasted mitochondrial fatty acid oxidation by 30%, decreased insulin resistance by 22%, and lowered free fatty acids by 25%, which uh, goes to show that they found an improvement in their symptoms of insulin resistance. So as you can see, there are multiple studies over the past few years, clinical trials in humans as well, showing that the Glynac supplementation, glycine plus NAC, improves many aspects of health, especially those related to accelerated aging. Obviously, it's too early to presume, or it's very hard to presume, that the Glynac supplementation would extend lifespan in humans, the similar the way it did in the mouse study, where it improved lifespan by 24%. But the Glynac supplementation has been definitely shown in multiple uh, human studies, animal studies as well, showing that it improves the hallmarks of aging, and at least improves functional aspects of aging. Wait a minute. Now, it is also important to realize that in those studies, the patients or the subjects of those studies were either older adults or they had, you know, other comorbidities like diabetes or HIV or something else related. So all those people already had low levels of glutathione and they had increased, let's say, oxidative stress and inflammation, which got improved with the Glynac supplementation through increasing glutathione levels. Maybe there isn't that big of a carryover to individuals who don't have any comorbidities like a younger adult who already has good health and they're fit and their glutathione levels are already high. They, you know, eat a good diet, they exercise, etc. It's uh, hard to say whether or not it would have like any significant, you know, improvement in oxidative stress markers or inflammation markers or even if it would matter because their inflammation is presumably already low if they follow a healthy lifestyle. But the benefits of glycine, for example, go far beyond just correcting things like glutathione deficiency. And you can check out my other video about the full in-depth benefits of glycine. Glycine also improves collagen synthesis, which is very important for slowing down skin aging and improving joint health, etc. And glycine also improves sleep. Glycine lowers blood sugar levels. Glycine improves bile salt synthesis heme synthesis. So uh, yeah, the glycine is something that I personally take pretty much every day all the time. And briefly, I'll mention this new study as well that I covered in the other video, uh, glycine and aging. And uh, glycine may also have like direct life extension benefits, at least in other animals, through mimicking methionine restriction and inducing autophagy, which both of have uh, life extension benefits, at least in uh, other animal models. Now, with NAC, I do think that NAC is amazing. I take it regularly, and I think that you could definitely take that also regularly with no, no real side effects. The issue with NAC is that it may also have like a, some inhibitory effect on muscle performance, muscle strength, and especially high-intensity exercise. So there are studies showing how the NAC could blunt some of the positive adaptations to resistance training. So if you are, let's say, a young individual who is training hard and is trying to improve their fitness and physical performance for the sake of longevity as well, obviously, then you have to be kind of careful of not taking NAC all the time. If you are an older individual or someone who has, let's say, some sort of a infection, comorbidity, diabetes, other disease states that lower your glutathione levels and warrant having higher glutathione synthesis, then in that scenario, you could take, you know, NAC all the time. But if you don't have any issues, you don't have any complaints, you don't have any comorbidities, then it's better to take NAC maybe, you know, on the days that you don't exercise or the, on the days that you're not lifting heavy because it can reduce power output and it can also inhibit some of the positive adaptations to exercise by blunting the inflammation. So you don't want to blunt inflammation all the time. You want to reduce the inflammation when your inflammation is, you know, skyrocketing and and you want to boost your glutathione levels when you need it. And there is also the thing that some individuals with histamine intolerance can also react negatively to NAC supplementation because uh, NAC inhibits or um, reduces histamine breakdown. So overall, what I recommend is that you can take glycine with no side effects. The only side effects might be like a headache or too low blood sugar or something like that. And the side effects for NAC have to do with mostly muscle strength and muscle performance. So if you are prioritizing those, at least on some days of the week, 
then don't take NAC on those days, whereas you can take glycine pretty much every day unless you're getting a side effects. But overall, glycine and NAC are amazing. That's the reason why they're in my top three holy trinity of longevity supplements. If you want to find out what's the third supplement on the list of the holy trinity, then check out that this video that I just made. But do you want to slow down aging? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at seamland.com and I'll send you the details. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seam. Stay optimized, stay empowered.